Great day. It's Amanda. And I wanted to come to you briefly on the topic. And that topic is comfort zones out of here. Okay? Let's unfix the set. Now, what I mean by that is that there comes a time in life where you have to take responsibility for your walk with God. He tells us, in fact, in the Word, to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So let me get my disclaimer. I stand on the Psalms that the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Do you know, my friend, that it's a new day with new mercy? In Lamentations 3, that's what it tells us. It says, great is his faithfulness. His mercies are new every morning. So you got to learn how to say, give thee behind me, Satan. I don't know what the situation may be. And I'm not here to give you any type of counsel. But I'm here to let you know that you can, in fact, break out of your comfort zone on today and press into the destiny, the assignment, and the things that God has promised in his word for you. Now, there's nothing that qualifies me to get on here and say that. But do you understand that the Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed? When you understand understand my friend hallelujah that as long as the earth remains there'll be seed time and harvest you'll understand that you can pray without ceasing you'll understand that you're not a victim of your situation you'll begin to realize that God has equipped us with the tools necessary to make it to the next level in fact he tells us we go from faith to faith and from glory to glory do you feel like things are stagnant in your life my friend do you feel as though you're not going anywhere well I'm here to let you know that you can always find something to be grateful for and I'm not here to preach at you but understand this God has dealt to every man the measure of faith when you understand that the eye of the Lord is in every place beholding the evil and the good you know that the enemy cannot hold you to the that past issue, that past sin, that past mistake. Understand that you can pray and cry it on your, in your heavenly language. Marabasi Torosatam. Are there people calling you kind and hypocrite? All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. See, this is what the enemy does. And when I'm speaking of the enemy, I'm speaking of dark principalities, Satan, Lucifer. Hallelujah. He comes to still kill and destroy, but Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. Have you spoken something that was harsh? Hallelujah. Well, I'm here to let you know you don't have to feel condemned. Just be quick to repent. And that's why the Bible tells us be slow to speak, quick to hear, and slow to wrath. It is so important to understand that you can break out of that set, out of that comfort zone, that you can be catapulted into the next level. And Ecclesiastes 3 states that it's a set time for a season. Uh, under the purposes of heaven hallelujah jurisdiction is heaven hallelujah you got to learn to say thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven so i may be tripping over my words a little bit because i don't have a lot of time to say this i'm preparing for some other things throughout my day hallelujah but i'm here to let you know my friend that you can break out of the set hallelujah god doesn't want you to stay in that same broken defeated desolate place he redeems the soul of his servants and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate i'm here to give you some good news hallelujah in the midst of hallelujah all of the tragic things that have been unfolding in our world today i'm here to give you the gospel the good news that something good can happen to you today if you will accept it as a man think of in his heart so is he understand that you don't have to be a victim of these principalities that you can break out of that set i don't care if it was something going on year after year month after month day after day you can make a decision and say hallelujah and in my prosperity i said i shall not be moved hallelujah who shall lay anything to the charge of god's elect it is god that justifieth my friend hallelujah i don't care if the enemy has a snapshot hallelujah of what you did last summer it's already hallelujah expired and voided out if you catch a revelation of who you are in christ you'll understand that you're not held to your past sins you'll understand as it states in psalm 91 he has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways you can put a demand hallelujah on the justice of heaven and this is not a thing to try to bring condemnation or you know i'm gonna get you and i have a one-up on you but what it is is putting a demand on your covenant of salvation do you understand that God is our Heavenly Father? He gives good gifts to His children. And he said, he wants us to give our story, our testimony. Do you understand that your story can encourage someone? How do you break out a set? Remember what God has done for you in the past. How do you break out of your comfort zone? Step out. Make yourself of no reputation. Don't think more highly of yourself than you ought. Learn how to stand on Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Do you understand a power greater than yourself can possess your situation? Hallelujah. And bring you to that place that God wants you at. He Hishadabasia. Urobasuto. No man is an island. The seeds that you've sown. The prayers that you prayed. You may have had a, a praying grandmother. I'm here to let you know 
know, my friend, that this is not the end for you. And we bind up demonic retaliation that will try to come against us. Again, hallelujah, no, no man after the flesh. Try the spirit by the spirit. I don't care if somebody's on here sizing me up. Hallelujah, I know who I am in Christ. Hallelujah, I'm not where I want to be. But thank God I'm not where I used to be, as I heard one evangelist say. He shot up Asia. Break out of that comfort zone. Hallelujah, you can hold your head up high in a spirit of humility. Hallelujah, not arrogance. But he says, cast not away your confidence, for it has a great recompense of reward. Hallelujah. We're not on here to throw subliminals at people, but I'm here. Hallelujah to encourage that one and let you know you don't have to keep going. Hallelujah through Groundhog Day because that's exactly what it is. Do you feel like that Bill Murray movie? Hallelujah where you're waking up day after day and it's deja vu. While I'm here to let you know your story can change today if you will allow it to. If you will step into the fullness. Hallelujah of who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. Then you can speak to the mountain and tell it to move. Who Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Who told you that you can't make it? Hallelujah. Who told you you were wouldn't amount to anything. Well, I can almost try to tell you this. Somebody may have said that to them. Hallelujah. So they're just lashing out on you, but you don't have to receive that thing. You can say, hallelujah, anything contrary. Hallelujah to what God has promised me or my children. Hallelujah and family. I don't receive it. He shut up. I I put apostolic demand. Hallelujah on the promises of God because I'm breaking out of my comfort zone. Hallelujah. They said it takes 21 days to replace an old habit. Well, I'm here to let you know you don't have to wait 21 seconds. Hallelujah. You cry out before the Lord and receive him in your heart. He Forgetting those things that be behind. Press towards the mark and the high calling of Christ Jesus. Break out of that comfort zone. Refuse to be a victim of your past. Refuse to be the black sheep of your family. Refuse to be the one that never made it and realized their dreams. And know that he that wins souls is wise. I'm here to let you know, my friend, you can take on a whole new identity. Hallelujah. For whoever's in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Well, hopefully that encouraged somebody on today. You don't have to be a victim of gossip, slander. Hallelujah. It's a big earth, but it's an even bigger heaven. Let me say that again. It's a big earth, but it's an even bigger heaven. Do you know that God knows the very number of hairs on your head? Well, my friend, that should encourage you on today. That it's time to say, you know, what I'm gonna drop the weight of the past and I'm gonna go forward to the things that God has for my present and my future well until next time my friend because I'm kind of sweating right now Shalom